So I have a confession, and that is that I don't like these pencils. This is just your standard HB pencil that you used to use in school. Um, and they should be great for drawing because you can erase and you can redraw and this is like your perfect sketching friend. But I just don't like the feel of graphite pencils. I've tried different ones, most of them quite cheap. I also tried some mechanical pencils and I didn't enjoy them. So at some point I just decided that I don't need them then I just don't sketch or I sketch with colored pencils or colored pencils that I can erase so I just decided that they are not something that you know fits me, fits myself but today I'm telling you that I'm giving graphite pencils a second chance because I bought the most expensive simple color pencil that I know of at least and here I have the black wing pencil. These are super fancy chic pencils. This one pencil cost me 450, so I thought I either go big or go home. And I went shopping in Maastricht. Maastricht is here a city in the Netherlands. It's a beautiful city. I would highly recommend that city. Uh, but I went shopping there and then in one of the more concept kind of stores, in the corner of the store, I saw these and I was like, what? I've always wanted to try a black wing pencil. It has um, The little eraser already has some... Uh, it shows that I've used them. And my conclusion is that I actually really like this pencil and I'm surprised <laughs> and I actually don't really like that I like this pencil because these are so expensive so today I just wanted to make a video about why I like them what I've created with them so far and if you should also try them um, I would say that this is not a beginner's pencil uh, and you don't you really don't need such a pencil to enjoy sketching. I'm just a little bit stupid. I admit <laughs> I should just enjoy like the basic pencils, but I don't. Um, and today I will just tell you a little bit about this pencil. I enjoy it. I love it. Here you can see the first thing that I sketched with this pencil. Uh, it's actually the first thing um, that I ever sketched and I just like to have like a lot of sketch lines when I sketch I did a highlight with an Ecoline brush pen um, and yeah I really enjoyed it and I could add a lot of texture the pencil would flow really well on the paper and when I was done with this I grabbed my colored pencil which I normally sketch with and I didn't like that at all. I did some rough sketches. Now just a little bit of a disclaimer I don't think that sketchbooks need to be pretty so my sketchbook is not pretty it never will be pretty and it's just something that I that it's not my goal to make it pretty. It's my goal to experiment, have fun, and create whatever I want, whatever I feel like, without thinking, without restricting myself. So I'm showing you these pages. I know that they are not pretty, but it's just how I like to work in my sketchbook. And that's personal for everyone. If you are looking for creating like these beautiful pages, you go for it. Just do whatever you need, but I need a sketchbook for me is just a space to um, here are some cats to let loose and to feel like there are no restrictions like just create stuff and be free in that matter so that's why we have some of these not so pretty pages um, but I have swatched I've sketched some cats here and I filled them in with the Ecoline brush pens 
and I actually really enjoyed this little uh, birthday cat hair looking at his little uh, cake so yeah those are just some sketchings that I did and I really enjoyed it I also really like to draw cats in sweaters so, um, uh, sketches that I did and then I went over them with watercolor just to see how they would work together and I really like the thick lines um, and then here I also did an eye with it and you can have like these really good uh, you know text these really good uh, differences between how dark and how not dark something is and then I also sketched some um, flowers and as you can see already you can have so much variety in one pen later um, and then here is actually the favorite sketch that I did and that is this one and it's a girl with cloudy hair and so here I have my little art creation sketchbook and my two pencils before I start this is definitely not a fair comparison because I think that this pencil cost me like maybe 50 cents maybe less and the other pencil cost me 4 euros and 50 cents so they are definitely from another price range I don't owe any Darwin or Faber-Castell drawing pencils like uh, graphite pencils maybe that's my next step um, because I never wanted to invest in fancy pencils because I didn't really enjoy them um, but when I came across this black wing pencil I never saw it before in any store no art store that I've been to here I couldn't resist and now that I have it I do really like it so that's why I'm comparing these two this is just like your basic cheap pencil that you used to use at school for mathematics or something like that and this is like your fancy artist pencil now before I compare them on the paper I just want to compare them on presentation and feel because for me that are um, categories that do matter so of course when you look at the presentation the black wing one looks more fancy, more chic, uh, it's shiny, it has the beautiful gold uh, sign on it, here on the back it has a quote that says half the pressure twice the speed, it has some beautiful gold details and also how the eraser is uh, fitting neatly on top, it's something that looks really really beautiful. And then the other pencil, the cheap pencil, um, I do also like this presentation just because it's such a classic you can't really go wrong with it and I know that some people actually uh, make their uh, Apple pencils into such a pencil like this traditional shape and I think that when you think of a graphite pencil you think of this so in that way I don't think that um, they did anything wrong there it's just like your beautiful classic pencil and you have an eraser nice and then on feel I love how this lays in your hand it's quite heavy and it feels really um, because it has some texture here on the uh, on the barrel it feels really nice so the feel of this in your hand is amazing and then comparing it to this one first thing that I noticed is that this one is a way lighter and I like it to be a little bit more heavy then I feel like you have more control and um, also it it is a less nice feeling on the barrel so for feel the black wing one definitely wins first what I'm going to do is create a line and trying to create the thinnest line possible and then the thickest line possible so I'm putting down almost no pressure and then I'm putting down a lot of pressure so this is for like pressure to show you almost no pressure and then a lot of pressure so 
the black one definitely wins. First thing I want to do is create just some shapes, like a going from um, light to dark. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the black ones. I could even go from dark and the big difference is that the feeling of it, this one feels so smooth on the paper it just it just slides on the paper and you don't need to press so damn hard to create um, darker colors oh, it just slided away I'm Time to go lighter. Then at the end, I try my best to make it as light as I possibly can. And then we're going to look at the little eraser. So I'm just going to put a line here. That's actually not bad at all. It erases is quite nice. And then here. I need some extra work at the darker areas, but it will raise really good. So I would say that just on erasing it, they're both quite good. Um, this gives gives you more precision um, because of the shape choice that it's like a um, a long. Uh, eraser instead of a round eraser. So now what I'm going to try and do and create circles. For me one of the big reasons why I like the black wing pencil so much is they give me so much more control. So I'm trying to create circles. It's actually not bad. And then here I think that I even like these better. And now that I'm comparing these two to each other, I'm sort of thinking how can I let you as a viewer experience the difference and the big difference between these two is the feel. This one is way more a joy to use um, and also it creates smoother lines and smoother transition, uh, transitions. This one creates way more um, contrast between the lines so you can't be as precise as with this one. And now I'm going to draw here a little cat because I really like to draw cats. At the moment I really like to draw cats like when my cats do this I always call them um, Buddha cats I hope that doesn't offend anybody and then we have the big fluffy tail and what I like to do when I sketch is be kind of uh, fast so do not be super duper um, precise with it but just be fast go over it go over it again and I feel like these pencils go dark so easily so that I don't really have that much of a precision with them. Uh, so just to be honest, I don't really like how this cat turned out. It looks kind of stiff and also the proportions are a bit off. But that could also be, of course, my drawing skills. So now let's move on to the black wing pencil. It's so much uh, softer to work with.
that's the biggest difference for me. Like the feeling. That's actually one thing that I don't really enjoy about working with graphite is that you can erase so much and then like my um, perfectionist side comes in and I'm like, oh that eye is too high and it should be lower, that's not good. <laughs> Which is also a good thing, of course, because then you can sort of improve your um, art, make it better. Texture to my drawings, and it's just like a little bit of a sketch to go in and you know, get the illusion of hair. Just putting down sketches. And now, I should also do that to the other sketch. And shadows and the eyes that I really want because she has so much color vari variation. Just one single little pencil. And here you can see the difference. The big difference between these two is that this one feels way better, way smoother. I can add way more variety in the colors. This one doesn't give me that option at all. Um, I can erase easier. The workflow is just better. And I feel that I can sketch faster with this one than with this one. And this actually feels more like my style than this one, which is kind of funny. So, yeah, and the big difference for me is not actually how they um, look here on the paper, but the big difference for me is the feeling and the joy that I get with sketching with this one versus this one. When I ske sketch with the cheap pencil, which is this side, I just want it to be done and I want to stop and it doesn't feel like I'm enjoying myself. But then when I sketch with this one, it feels so enjoyable and I want to erase and I want to sketch again and I want to make it better, make it better and add some texture and I really think that this pencil gives you those options and also lets you really enjoy the process. So in conclusion, I'm sorry, but I do recommend this pencil to you. And yeah, that's kind of bad because they're so expensive. They really enjoy them. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up maybe. Or subscribe, whatever you want to do. It's totally up to you. And then I'll see you in my next video.